Now, I know what you're thinking, Charles, have you gone completely mad? Well, maybe. This has been an interesting week. I got this diode overdrive pedal I made about two years ago working. It was a matter of swapping the tip and ring of the input socket's connection to the board and putting the output wire to the tip rather than the sleeve. God, those connectors can be confusing sometimes, as well as tidying up the wiring inside. So, how's it sound? <laughs> <laughs> also, I tried fixing the yellow fall delay, call it the yellow fail, but still no success on that. My first pedal, however, is working fine. Electroharmonics, you make a damn good pedal. You know, I should probably also get around to fixing that Commodore 64 I found in the trash back in 2014. It sort of outputs, but if I open it up, you can clearly see right here, there's some serious damage here. I mean, look at this. This chip, presumably a hex inverter or something, has completely decapped itself and the resistors next to it. Well, there's barely anything left of them at all. I also found a freezer bag full of Spider-Man, Darkman, and Wolverine comic books from 1989 to 1990 on the side of the road. I wonder how much these are worth. I mean, you've got the amazing Spider-Man guest starring Ant-Man. This one is from 1990. I mean, look at these Konami ads on the back. Okay, now here's the part you've been waiting for. A few days ago, I was redesigning my Tanuki persona when I came to the realization that I'm not much of a Tanuki at all. Then I remembered, in March 2016 when I created Valve, I was actually considering between three species, Tanuki, Weasel, and Meerkat. I was going to go with the Meerkat, but something I can't remember made me chose Tanuki instead. I think it was because I was worried about being accused about being a Thab of Meerkat ripoff or something. Now that I think about it more, I'm actually more of a meerkat. So last night I drew up a mini reference sheet of sorts. It was tricky though, I've never drawn a meerkat before. And I also had some issues with getting the pattern right. Q&A time! Our first question is from Rice Davies. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I love the animation where the bear turned into a guitar and so on. How'd you do it? I've been getting that question a lot lately, so I created a Blender tutorial to show you how to do just that. I'll try and add a little teaser card, and you can also find the link in the description. Hope you find it helpful. Our next question is from Werewolf Inferno. What truly inspired you to be in the furry fandom? Oh boy, this is going to be a long one. Okay. In the summer of 2015, while I was browsing Encyclopedia Dramatica, yes, that Encyclopedia Dramatica, I ran across their page on furries and I thought what and I thought what nobody would think of after reading an ECD article. Hey, these guys are pretty interesting. So I did some more research and came to the conclusion that I would be a furry. That July I joined Reddit and began interacting with r slash furry and my username on there was Wizards of Twelve, which was an adaptation of the Twelve String Wizard, which at the same time was my YouTube channel name. A week later, my channel name became Wizards of Twelve, as it was more ambiguous, you know, reflecting the variety nature of my channel. One of my classmates, which we will refer to here as Wonton Axel, was also getting into the fandom, and so one of her friends on Facebook was a friend of mine from middle school who I haven't heard from since 8th grade because he was sent to boarding school. 
And him and I have been hanging out ever since. His name was Nathan. Yes, that Nathan. Now, Nathan is more of a furry than I am. He's involved in the fandom a lot more than I am, but that's beside the point. Anyway, that October, I built my first fursuit head out of pieces of fence reinforcement, rabbit wire, and other goodies. He even has EL wire illumination, a cooling system, and an operable jaw. That YouTube series that I made on that project solidified my furriness, and here we are today. Now for our channel showcases, weighing in at 237 subscribers, the code cracking, conspiracy theorizing, media exposing, mega nerd studios. Seriously, go check out his channel. News has become all too common on social media. And of course, because this is a furry related, we can't forget Thabo Meerkat, who does skits, 3D modeling, and a series called Digging Up Positivity. Definitely go check out him as well. Links down in the description. Okay. If you'd like to be in my channel showcase, comment feature me, and I will check out your channel. There are only two requirements. The first being your channel must interest me, and you must have less than 10,000 subscribers. Well everyone, if you liked my video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Until next time, thanks for watching.